Talking about nights out, actually, one of the things I'm looking forward to, to going to that I may actually end up attending next week is this event here, Coach of Resident Advisor, because you know I like to recommend to you guys some place that you should maybe check out, especially if you're over here in London, to kind of go out and party at. And this is this. It's a promotional team called Origins that I've been to many of their nights over the years. And I have to say they're definitely up there in terms of um, their range, definitely up there in terms of the, just a kind of um, interest in terms of the experiences and the spaces that they use and the DJs and the sound and the crowd's always amazing. Just this, just this Friday gone, I think at um, Night Tales they had the uh, incredible the, um, the ghost playing I think at Night Tales and they usually play like Dick's Disco type of you know indie dance type of vibes and then now next week on Friday the 12th they're going to have SPF DJ playing all night at one of the best venues we have here in London outside of Fold of course that I love but one of the other best venues especially if you're in South is Venue MOT and it's essentially if you don't know the location it's kind of like near these railway arches which are which, and some of them are like warehouses or garages and stuff and they're obviously in an arch kind of environment so i think the acoustics are really good obviously it can get a little bit chilly in there because you know it's basically under an arch and it's not really insulated the best but the sound i think is pretty decent and just an, it's a nice experience because it's kind of out of the way they can crank the volume up really loud i think so compared to other clubs and they usually have a very eclectic i think um booking policy a lot of it's kind of like bass kind of um you know um influence and driven but i do think they have a very interesting way they kind of book people and this i think is one of the more interesting bookings because SPF DJ is definitely somebody that I wouldn't say she occupies like business techno kind of field but she's definitely in that kind of group of like you know hot Caucasian women who play really fast electronic music who some people may be looking at and say oh she's all image and it's just there's no substance to it but I'm a fan I, I honestly do think her sets are really good for especially considering the kind of class of people that she's in um, I can't think of the other girl as well who's similar to her I think she might be Polish I think she lives here I forgot her name but there's a particular kind of group of girls all in that crew all in that kind of clique or in that kind of band who you know it's just not not their fault they're just born the way they are they look good and they and they kind of DJ well behind decks and um, they've obviously had a real kind of burst in stardom over the years but personally I feel like the stardom is, is kind of warranted. You know, they're all hustlers. Like their booking schedule is absolutely crazy. I could just check it here actually on this event to see how many dates flipping SPF DJ is playing. But they're always flipping playing somewhere. And I think this kind of goes a long way, especially in this flipping land of people complaining about their gigs and DJs complaining just in general and not really kind of take, you know, it's kind of taking the whole opportunity they have for granted. But look at this, just looking at Resident Advisor, the SPF DJ flipping booking list, right? In terms of where she's playing up and coming gigs. She's going to be in flipping Meda Meda in Colombia this Saturday, which I'm recording the podcast now on the 6th, and then another event in Cumberland, in Columbia, then she's flying back to London to play that event, then the following day back in in Nuremberg to play, then the following week in Madrid, then the, follow, then the following day on that, the 19th in New York, then Miami, then Toronto, then Belfast, then Glasgow, then, you know, um, somewhere in Holland, I think that is, then Marseille, then Dortmund, then another place in Holland, then Bergen, then Malta. It's like a crazy schedule. So I think a lot of this has to do with, yes, the popularity, but also the work ethic and definitely the quality. Like she's not shit for sure. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what that flipping origin nights is going to be like, especially because I'm somebody who thinks as good as I think she is, I don't know if SPF DJ is like good in terms of being able to play like an extended set because this is going to be an all like long set this is going to be basically a six hour set so she's playing from 11 to 5 a.m and usually DJs like her I feel like similar to maybe an immediate lens which is a bad comparison but just bear with me I think even though I'm not a fan of the immediate lens I can understand why people will be fans of her because she gives you what you want it's sort of like hard hitting you know bangers it's sort of like you know what you call it an hour to two hour sets and it's just bang 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 in your head you might get a bit of an intro you might get a bit of an outro but there's no kind of like you know journey there's no nothing it's just hard hitting anthem straight to your dome and you dance you faint your eye your pupils get dilated your armpits start sweating you start screaming you start shouting you have crust on the corner of your mouth and you go home happy so that definitely is a way to go about things but I reckon SPF DJ is a similar sort of thing but I think she probably in my opinion from having seen her play a couple of times 
I feel like the two hour mark is where she's at her sweet spot. But I think if you give them people too long, sometimes they can get a little bit nuts. But sometimes, sometimes in some cases, you're you're kind of a you're kind of a tr you're kind of trapped in your own success because you're so successful playing those shorter kind of sets. People only book you for those shorter type of sets. But what you really want to do is go on a musical journey. We saw that happening a little bit with um, Scream. Um, he was known for playing a certain type of music, and then all of a sudden he wants to become a little bit more experimental and kind of come out of his flipping comfort zone. And here he is now playing disco all night long in these kind of venues and absolutely killing it so maybe spf dj deep down has always been this person to play all night long sets and this is the opportunity that she needs to kind of go you know what fuck this shit i'm not the banger girl anymore let's go let's let me take you on a journey and then let's go from there because i've seen some people on the Bergheim reddit um changing their mind very slowly over time about the dj uh daria Kalos Ka have, 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 i say her name daria kalosa 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 um the woman who is um married to etap kyle right and um, she's been booked a lot regularly in flipping Bergheim to the point where i think it might come a time where you'll see her maybe get announced as a resident or she already is an unofficial resident without the label on it but she plays there quite often and in the beginning and she was playing it often especially maybe a couple of months ago a few months ago um people like oh man she's not good she's got the bangers only it needs to be flipping more of a journey it's like tiktok techno and now over time i'm seeing more and more people saying no she's actually created quite decent so she's kind of won that crowd over and maybe that's just a a nature of like being allowed to play longer than your two hours you're used to playing at most of your gigs or more than two four, four hours whatever it may be and now you get a chance to kind of explore or maybe just because of the the platform you go to burger and you know you can get a bit weird and you're not going to lose the crowd because everyone in there wants you know basically wants to be there they trust you in what you're doing and they're kind of going to go along with you on that journey so i'm eager to see what's going to be happening but obviously for me the only thing that's annoying is that this origins spf dj all night a long event happening on friday the 12th here um in london at venue mot from 11 to 5 a.m which um in south london unfortunately is sold out sold out completely which is absolutely crazy like this is one of the first ones i've seen in a while events like legitimately sold out i'm sure there'll be some of tickets still left at the door but considering all the kind of cool club kids that we've got here in london who kind of like this sort of sound and are going to be in there in their droves dressed up in their flipping um funny sunglasses like i have and stuff and you know with their techno clothes and their bondages and their lycrases i'm sure it's going to be a bit of a roadblock so i am not i am kind of pleased to see this new feature from ra where they can notify you about tickets that come available this wasn't always a thing so now in this events listing they've got this ra tickets tickets for event are sold out get notified when ticket comes available obviously i'm going to toggle that there we go so i'll be notified when the tickets do come available so i can then go to the event because i really really really, really want to go and see it because i trust origins they're put on decent nights and i'm just you know surprised to see that somebody would book spt to play an all-night set probably it's it's maybe just a it's probably just a you know as a promoter it's a good opportunity just to kind of book them because you know she's gonna cost a lot i think i don't think spf dj plays for like 200 pounds or 150 like i do right or like for a couple of drink tokens she definitely doesn't play for that so it's gonna cost you some money so why not get her involved and just get her to play a longer set instead of getting her just to play two hours do you know what i mean you can probably negotiate that with an agent especially around this time maybe it's a bit of a lull before the festivals you know that kind of vibe is probably an opportune time to kind of do that but regardless origins always put on a sick night so i'm really hyped and can't wait to flip and check it out i'm really hyped and can't wait to check it out so if you have, have the availability definitely go and of course like i said i'll be filming some footage on my little new canon power shot and getting that shit going as it goes so i'm really looking forward to it i'm not gonna lie i'm really looking forward to it 